hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all the simple face mask that i've been using and it has been working for me lately my face has been breaking out that i didn't like what my face was turning into so i came across this turmeric powder face mask and i'm like what turmeric that we use to cook i'm not going to apply it on my face how does that work so i said okay if if it's true i'm going to find out and i just did it and it worked for me like i applied it on my face for like five days just five days and the thing worked like magic so i said okay since this thing worked for me, I'm going to share it with you guys and hopefully it will work for someone out there. I'm going to show you the simple ingredients I used to make this face mask and I'll come back and show you how I apply it on my face. So here are the ingredients and the items you will need for this uh, face mask. So I'm going to start by adding the turmeric powder. So this is about a teaspoon and I'm using almond oil. You can use any oil of your choice. You can use coconut oil, jojoba oil, any oil you feel like using. So I'm going to add about a few drops. I added about 10 drops. You can add more or less depending on the quantity you want to make. And I'm going to be using honey. This is 100% Italian honey. And I just added about a teaspoon of that. Finally, I'm going to be adding lemon. So I'm just going to cut it into two and squeeze out some juice from the lemon. Well, this is the amount I'm going to be using because I don't need too much lemon in the mixture. And finally, I'll just mix everything together so that it's evenly combined. And this is what you need. Now I'm going to show you how I apply it on my face. Sorry, before I do this, I like to first of all use a face towel to soak it in warm water, not hot water, just warm water. And then I damp it on my face so that it can help to open up my pores so that it can be able to receive all those goodness that I will be applying on my face. So as you can see, this is the mixture and um, with the help of my brush, I got this brush for about one euro. So yeah, it's not expensive. I got it because it's more easier for me to use it for this. And if you don't have this brush, if you don't have any brush at all, you can use your fingers to rub it on your face and that will work absolutely fine. So I'm just going to start applying it on my face now and I'm going to mix it once again.
And one thing I want to say again is that this thing can really get messy. So <laughs> you don't want to do this with your Christmas clothes. <laughs> You want to wear a cloth you don't mind staining. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm avoiding my eye area. Make sure you rub it all over your face. Now I'm done and this is what I have left. So normally what I used to do is any one that is left, I will put it in my fridge and use it the next night. So I normally do this thing every single night before I go to bed for five days. So after the five days, I started doing it like once in a week. Like you have to follow it up for like five to seven days. And after that days, you can now begin to do it once in a week or once in a while when you see that the, the pimples or the bumps are trying to come back again. So now I'm going to keep this one in my fridge and then I will let this thing dry up for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I will wash it off, come back and show you what next to do. So I hope you stay tuned for that. So guys, after 30 minutes of waiting, I rinsed out the mask of my face with cold water. Remember, I used warm water to, you know, open up my pores. Now, after, apply, after you have applied the mask and after you have waited for some minutes, like 30 minutes, I waited for 30 minutes. That is how I've been doing it. So, what I did was I washed my face with cold water, just ordinary water to help close my pores. And then I used a paper towel to dry up the excess water. When I'm done with the paper towel, I like to use my face toner to kind of get deep into my face to wipe off the turmeric powder mask that I applied because turmeric powder can be really messy and it can be really staining. So I just use a pad and then soak in the, the toner. Then I begin to wipe of the excess turmeric because if you leave it just like that if someone comes very closer to you the person will notice the color <laughs> the color on your face so that is why you need this face toner to clear all the stains and it will also help to tighten up your pores i have some large pores on my face so this toner has also been helping me as well. Now finally, after I'm done toning up my face, I like to go in with this baby oil. Yes, I know some of you will be like, what? Does she use baby oil on her face? Yes, because that is what has been working for me. Have you ever wondered why baby's skin are very soft and tender? I want my face to be looking like that, okay? <laughs> so, I apply this on my face. That is just to keep my face from drying up. I'm just going to spray like one like that. You can use any oil of your choice and I would recommend coconut oil if you have coconut oil. Just use it to kind of moisturize your face to keep it from drying like I said before. If you don't mind, just give it a try and see if it will work for you. How do you know that this thing actually works if you don't get to try it out? So make sure you try it out and see if it will work for you as well. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. 
thank you so much for watching god bless you all and i will see you guys in my next video bye